I'm just gonna jump right into it and say I got my period again. Hello, internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ichiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey. And today is Together Tuesday. It's a day where I spend some time outside talking to you guys and then also show you guys a peek into what Steven and I do for time together. So since this is me and you time, I'm just gonna jump right into it and say I got my period again. Uh, I literally got it last Sunday. So at this point, I'm getting it every single week and it lasts three days at a time at least. I do have an update on my most recent test results. I actually got the results back from the center who did them Friday, but yesterday is when I heard back from my doctor's office about the results. Uh, I am not pleased about it. So they didn't call me. They just left a message on the results. They said, hey, your fibroid is smaller. Your uterus looks great. And follow up with your doctor if you have any more questions. Well, I read the results and that is not what they said. It said that the fibroid got bigger, albeit not by much, like very minuscule amount, but it also said that my uterus is enlarged. So I'm sitting here going, oh, they have the wrong test results. So I call up the doctor's office and say, hey, I think maybe there was some misunderstanding. My results did not say what was being conveyed from the message I got. And I'm gonna admit I'm, I'm kind of annoyed about that just because uh, this is the second doctor, the second time where results have been read incorrectly regarding trying to look into why this is happening to me. Like I'm scheduling appointments with you guys. I'm not the one saying I have time for this. You guys are saying you have time for this. So could you please spend a little time and read my results correctly. I mean, it's starting to make me feel like no one cares. I know that's not the case, but spend two extra seconds to just make sure you're reading it correctly. Anyway, the nurse goes, oh yeah, she inverted it. Uh, she swapped out the original size for the new size and thought it shrunk. Okay, so she read the right test results. She just did it wrong. Fine, uh, but what's this about an enlarged uterus and these other words? And I'm gonna pop them on the screen now pumpkin sniffing so I can't use my other hand but there's some words here that I don't understand and I would like them explained to me because I am not someone with a medical degree and these are words coming back on my test result that I would like to fully understand to help me understand what's going on with my body now these could be things that have absolutely nothing to do with it with these results and the previous ones I'm gonna pop those up on the screen there's a good possibility that they are abnormal, but not abnormal enough to matter. But I still need to know why these results are coming back abnormal, why these words are being shown to me. If it's not in the normal range, how abnormal does it have to be to be a concern? And how many different kinds of abnormal things do I need for it to possibly point in some sort of a direction? Like, do I need to monitor this? Like with my transient thyroidism, uh, the endochromologist said, hey, we need to make sure that this was 100% transient thyroidism. You need to get a thyroid test every six months for the next couple of years, and then you'll be in the clear. Are any of these results things that I need to keep an eye on? None of this is being explained to me. And yes, I do love my gyno, and yes, I do love my regular doctor. The two doctors that read the test results incorrectly were neither one of my normals, but this latest result was someone working in behalf of my gyno. And when I said, hey, I actually want a call from my gyno to follow up and explain some of this stuff to me because it's important to advocate for yourself. And I thought I was doing a really good job of it until she said that she would schedule a telemed appointment three weeks from now. Uh, I'm sorry, but if you have a doctor's appointment and they make tests, there should be a follow-up, which is what that email was. Uh, but it wasn't sufficient and I voiced it. So they should be making sure that they do a proper follow-up. And I should have advocated for myself further, but I took the three week out telemed appointment just to get clarification on an appointment that I had already made. So that is where we are at. I am constantly trying to keep my emotions in check, not always be someone on PMS and trying to find understanding 
in others' actions, while also realizing that all of this could be absolutely nothing. It could just literally be that I lost weight and my hormones are going crazy, which is fine, but I, I really just need a little bit more clarification because um, being on your period every week is, it's fucking insanity. <sighs> like yesterday I was cleaning the house and I left detergent on the floor, which I never do. Uh, the cat could get into it, the dogs could get into it, thank God they didn't, but I mean, out of habit alone, I shouldn't have done it. And my brain gets so forgetful when I'm on my period. And I did enough forgetful things yesterday that Steven was like, hey, are you on your period? Because I didn't tell him. I'm like, at this point, you don't need to know every time. And I'm like, uh, yeah, on my period. And he was able to tell just by the way I'm acting, the way I can't remember words, the way I forget things, the way I left the door halfway ajar, crankiness. It's just, uh, <clears throat> just messing with my head a bit. And you know, if it is the weight loss, I am totally 100% okay with uh, waiting it out for a few months. I got the IUD in to stop my period. And if it's my weight loss messing with it, I obviously don't want to take it out and basically have wasted a year with that thing in me. So I'm just hoping I can get a little bit more clarification. That's all I can hope for at this point. But that's my update. I wish it was a better one. How are you guys? Feel good? It is crappy weather out here. Do you see this? Had two wonderful days of sunshine. It's supposed to rain later. Got pumpkins walk done. Time for Duke. <laughs> 